everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful block stitch granny square. So it's a really simple pattern once you get going, it's just a two row repeat that you work up until your project is as big as you want it to be. Now this particular pattern can be worked in rows as well and I will leave a link in the description box for the tutorial for how to work this stitch in rows if you wanted to try that instead. For this example piece I have used the Ice Picasso rainbow yarn for obviously the, this, the chains and things in between and then I have used a grey Shapies Colour Crafter. can't remember the exact name of it but all of the information will be down in the description box for you. So I really, let me just bring it in a little closer. I really hope that you enjoy the tutorial and if you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you don't already. So you're going to be starting this just like any other granny square and obviously I'm going to be doing the seamless and reversible technique. So as with all of your granny squares, you're going to do a chain of four. And then you're going to slip stitch into that very first chain next to your slip knot. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook as well. And that just gives you your loop there to work all of our next stitches. So you're going to chain two, and that counts as our first treble. So remember these are UK trebles in the US, these are your doubles. So we now want to create our first granny cluster so you're going to do two further trebles into this ring. So yarn over, insert into the centre ring, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two trebles we've got now so we need one more again back into that same centre ring yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is our first granny cluster. You want to chain two now to create your corner space and then you're going to do another granny cluster back into that centre ring. So three trebles, one, two and three. Again chain two to create your corner space and then we want to do that two more times so you want two more granny clusters so your granny clusters are a group of three trebles three, chain two for your corner and your final set of trebles to create your final cluster. Three. So that's all of our treble clusters now so we're going to chain two to create that final corner space and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that starting chain. So the top of your chain two, you'll insert your hook and slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both. So that is your first round of your granny square, just like normal. I'm going to chain one, snip off and tighten that off. So I'm going to do the first round and the block part <laughs> so the the multicolored round I'm going to do the same way and then I will turn and do the next two rounds the other way and then turn back again and that will just keep it perfectly square it means it's reversible as well which is always nice so yeah that's the start of that one there so I'm going to pop my other yarn onto my hook with a slip knot and then into any corner space I'm going to do a double crochet, so I'm going to insert my hook, 
yarn over and pull up and I've got those two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both. So that is my first double. So remember I'm using UK terms, so this is your single in the US. I'm now going to chain two, just like I would for my corner normally, and double crochet back into that same corner. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. I'm going to chain two, so that I can skip across the top of this granny cluster and go straight into that next corner space with a double, a chain two, and a double back in that corner. And that's created our new corner space again. Chain two, jump across your next granny cluster, and double, chain two, and double, again, all in that same chain two space. Chain two, jump across your granny cluster, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same space, and then one final time you'll chain two to jump across these final trebles and then you'll slip stitch to the top of that first double that you did at the start of this round. So, slip stitch, chain one, snip and pull that through. So that is how you should be looking at the end of that round. It doesn't look like much at the moment but now I'm going to turn over. Obviously you can weave in your ends as you go. This one I can just snip off because I worked over it as I went round. So now I'm going to bring my grey back and again I'm going to pop a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to start in a corner space so I'm going to insert my hook into that chain 2 space yarn over and pull up and I've got two loops on my hook yarn over and pull through two and then I'm going to go behind that vertical part of that stitch yarn over and pull up again, yarn over, pull through two. And that is my first treble of the round. So I want to do two more trebles now because this first one counts as the first part of our cluster. So I want two more trebles back into that same chain two space. Like so. So I'll finish off this corner when I get back round to it in a bit. So now we're going to work underneath the chain two and we're going to do our granny cluster. So into that chain two space you'll do your three trebles. And then we're at a corner. So for your corner you'll have a granny cluster so into that chain two space you'll do three trebles. One, two, three, chain two to create your new corner space and then back into that same space you'll do three trebles again. So one, two and three. And then again you'll work under your chain two loop and do your next granny cluster. So your next three trebles. So you'll continue working that all the way around now. So you'll do your next corner space in your next chain two space. So you'll do granny cluster, have three trebles, chain two, to create your new corner space and then three trebles back in that space. Chain 
and then you're ready to work your straight side again. So if you continue that all the way around and then I will meet you as you get to where we started. And again now we're going to close off this round. So we started our corner at the very beginning but we need to finish off now the other half of the corner by doing three more trebles into that same corner space. One. and three. Chain two and close with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two from the beginning of the round. Sorry, <laughs> it's not, it wasn't a chain two, but to the bit that first stitch of the round, whether you did a chain two or a standing stitch, just close to the top. And then again, chain one and snip and pull that out and tighten up. Again, stop and weave in your ends. Okay, so again, I'm going to keep it facing me for this next round and then I'll turn again after. So again, slip knot on your hook with your other yarn and into any corner space. Yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both. Chain two to create your new corner space and then double crochet back into that same space. Chain two to jump across these trebles and then double crochet into the space in between your granny clusters. So you'll double crochet into here. Chain two. Again, skip the next cluster and double crochet into that space. Chain two, skip that next one and then you're at your corner. So you'll double, chain two and double back into that corner space. And then again, chain two and jump across your granny clusters and double and then chain two and you'll be able to continue that all the way around. So these rounds are always really satisfying because they're so super quick. <laughs> I just wish all the rounds were this fast. So I'm pretty much back where we started from, so I'm going to do my final chain two and then I need to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet of the round. So I'll slip stitch, chain one, snip and pull that out. So again now that is our next round completed and at this point again I will turn. So I'm going to turn at the start of each of my cluster rows. So I'll do a cluster row and the chain row face in the same way and then turn. So again start with your next colour into any of your corner spaces. And do your treble height stitch and then your two trebles into that corner space and we'll finish off that corner when we get back round to it. And again, jump straight under that chain two and do your granny cluster. I apologise for the siren. And then again, your next granny cluster will be under the next chain two. One, two, three, and your next granny cluster will be under that final chain on this side. Okay. So then we're back to a corner again. 
So you want to create your new corner, so you will do your granny cluster. Chain two, granny cluster, all in that same corner chain space. And then again, you'll work your straight sides. So hopefully you'll be able to continue that pattern. So by watching the last row, uh, the last round, sorry, that we did, the last two rounds, and you'll be able to repeat that as many times as you need to, to complete whatever size project you want. I've worked up a few more rows just so that you can see how it's looking, but don't do what I've done and leave all your ends. <laughs> Try and work them in as you go along, because if you're making a really big blanket, it's just going to be rather daunting to have that many ends otherwise. But that is it for the tutorial. I really hope that you've enjoyed this one and I will see you for another tutorial really soon. Bye for now.